Hey guys, what's going on? This is going to be an open tag response to RPK Vids, formerly known as RPK Game Vids, uh, open tag video which was show us your collection of retro compilations. Now, I have a good amount. Um, I actually bought one uh, last week and I have it here with me. So, yeah. I had originally did this video before, but the lighting in it was was abysmal. So I decided to just delete all those old videos because now I have better lighting. So you guys can actually see the games a little better now. So thank God for that. So what I'm going to do is going to be from least to most. So first up we got um, Namco Museum Volume 3. This compilation has six games in total. Um, really fun. The only game that is in this compilation that I have not played is Fozone. In terms of, I have Namco Museum, Namco Museum 50th Anniversary, um, the PSP one as well, and then this one. So Fozone was like the only game on here that I didn't play. Uh, now we got a really horribly stickered Pac-Man collection. Uh, this has four games in total. Obviously they all consist of Pac-Man games. They're very fun and they're reported very well, actually. It's actually surprising. Next we got Namco Museum. I don't know if you can see that too well. Uh, this one has five games in total. Um, it has Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Galaxian, Pole Position, and Dig Dug. Now we're going to get into the PSP games. So, First up we got uh, Atari Classics Evolved. This compilation has between maybe 70 to 80 games. You have to unlock the, the over 50 Atari 2600 titles. So you actually have to unlock them, which is kind of bogus but yeah. so this is the newest one that I got uh, EA replay this compilation has 14 games in total I think they're all console ports which are actually pretty they're pretty interesting I haven't really played this too much so I can't really say a lot but um this one has wing commander and wing commander secret missions Budokan desert strike and Desert Strike and Jungle Strike, uh, Mutant, Le Mutant League Football, B.O.B., Road Rash 1, 2, and 3, and a few others. So that's pretty cool. Next is Capcom. Whoop, that was about to fall. Capcom Puzzle World. Um, RPK, if you ever get a, uh, a PSP, I would definitely recommend this game to you because I know you like puzzle games, and yeah, this is definitely up your alley. But... Capcom Puzzle World has five games in total. It's a really small number, but the the games inside this compilation make up for it because they're really, really fun. <clears throat> Next is Capcom Classics Collection Remixed. Uh, this one has 20. Yeah, 20 games in total, like Strider, 1941, the original Street Fighter game, Bionic Commando, uh, Captain Commando, uh, which was a really awesome game. Uh, I remember me and my cousin had uh, I had the Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2, which had Captain Commando in it. And we stayed up until, I would say, about 2 o'clock playing, <laughs> playing through the whole thing. After we were done, we were so tired, and we were like, okay, we, we need to go to sleep, because this is, this is ridiculous. Uh, next is Capcom Classics Collection Reloaded. This one has 19 games in total. Um, I will kind of nitpick at this. It's it's a little stupid one, but I don't like the fact that they added um, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, and Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. They could have easily just added Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and added two other games, you know, exclusive for you know this this version of Capcom Classics Collection. But uh, you know what can you do? They did it that way, so oh well, no big deal. Next is Namco Museum Battle Collection. This compilation has 21 games in total. It says over 20. I don't know why they they said it like that. They made it seem like there was like 25 or 26 games in here, but it's not. It's 21. Um, some of these I actually haven't played before, like Rally X, New Rally X, Busconian, Dig Dug 2. I had no idea they even made a sequel for it. Normally back then in arcades, uh, sequels were kind of uh, somewhat scarce. I mean, Mortal Kombat. And then Street Fighter were kind of like the only ones that I know of that had like a good amount of sequels in the arcades. 
<clears throat> Sorry about that. Next is Title Legends Power Up. This is the only Title Legends compilation that I own. I do want to get Title Legends 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 2 because I know they have a lot more games on those. But I, this one was kind of, I guess you can say, just to hold me off until I got those. But they're pretty difficult to find, especially complete copies. And they're somewhat pricey. So, but it's a really good compilation. This is my personal favorite compilation on the PSP. Midway Arcade Treasures Extended Play. Half of the reason why I love this one so much is because of MK1, 2, and 3. Because it, it, all three of those games are on here. Um, but it's, it's fun to play and you can take it with you. So what's not to love? There was another Midway Arcade Treasures compilation that has MK1, 2, and 3 all together. But that's for the PC. Now I really I actually wanted to get it just to have them all. But... That game cost like $120 or I think it was $120 or $160. So yeah, I'm definitely not gonna shell out that kind of money. Um, all right, now for the PlayStation 2 Sega Genesis Collection, really great compilation. This one has 33 games in total. As yeah, there's it says 28, but there's 33 because there's five arcade games that you can unlock. A little interesting note is. The PSP version of Sega Genesis Collection has completely different arcade games. The five arcade games that are on here on this one are very different from the ones on the PSP. So that was pretty interesting. <clears throat> Next is Activision Anthology. This one has 48 games in total, which is a pretty big number. And it also has an 80s soundtrack. So that's really cool that they added uh, an 80 soundtrack for this uh, compilation. They also did that as well with Namco Museum 50th Anniversary. They added, I think it was an 80 soundtrack. Um, but yeah, this, this compilation is good. And I like the, uh, the menu layout that they have for it. Next is Atari Anthology. This compilation has 85 games in total. That's, that's a ridiculous number. That's crazy. Um, but the majority of them are uh, Atari 2600 games, so it's very understandable now. There's 18 classic arcade games, including Asteroids, Battlezone, Centipede, Missile Command, Tempest, and more. So you have 18 arcade originals and 67 uh, Atari 2600 games. So that's really cool. Um, uh, there was... Uh, they... I actually have uh, an Atari flashback, which I think from what I remember on the box had a hundred games. So that's a lot. Anyways, uh, Namco Museum 50th Anniversary, uh, great compilation as well. This one has 16 games in total, but it's it says 14, it's actually 16, you have to unlock two of them. By beating the high score for Pac-Man and Galaga. The two games that you unlock are Pac-Mania, I think, and Galaga 88. So, oh my god, excuse me, sorry about that. That's really cool. Next is Namco Museum. Much like 50th Anniversary, there's two games that you could, that you have to, or that you can unlock in Namco Museum by beating the high scores for Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. The two games that are unlockable in here are Pac-Attack and Pac-Mania. Really cool compilation, though. Next is SNK Arcade Classics Volume 1, really great compilation, has 16 games, 15, because you have to unlock World Heroes by getting 10 medals, and the game is automatically unlocked for you after you get the 10th one, so that's really cool. Next is Sonic Mega Collection Plus, uh, this one has 19 games in total, um, they're not all unlocked from the start, 7 of them you have to unlock, but um, it's a very tedious it's it's a very tedious process and it will just aggravate the hell out of you trust me I know I did it. It, it it's a stupid process to unlock those games but they did it that way I don't know why next is Capcom Classics Collection this one has 22 games in total a really fun compilation as well next is Pinball Hall of Fame the Williams Collection this one has 8 8 pinball tables, right? Yep. 8 pinball tables from Williams. 
I'm surprised they haven't made any more of these uh, Pinball Hall of Fame collect um, compilations. I really wish they would have. It would have been awesome. Next is Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection. This one has seven pinball tables. Um, another really great pinball compilation. Next is Midway Arcade Treasures 3. Great compilation. Very, very fun. I personally like it. Not too many people did. Um, yeah, they're, they're fun. They're not bad. You know, they're not as bad as everyone made it out to be. <clears throat> Next is my personal favorite compilation on the PS2. Midway Arcade Treasures 2. This one has 21... No, 20 games. I'm sorry. 20 games in total. Uh... It has Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. It was supposed to include MK1 as well, but they took that out and put it in the bonus disc for Mortal Kombat Deception Premium Edition. So, yeah, if you wanted to play the original, the first three MK games, you had to buy this and the Premium Edition of Mortal Kombat Deception. So, it's kind of clever on their part. Now, I'm showing you these two games because they are essentially the same, just different cover art. Uh, Midway Arcade Treasures. What happened was, this was the original box art, and this was the re-release version, obviously as you can tell. Midway just wanted to re-release the first one so the cover can match Midway Arcade Treasures 2 and 3, so there's nothing too too crazy about it. Uh, these compilation, this one has 24 games in total. Next is Street Fighter Anniversary Collection. This compilation only has two games, but two games make up for it immensely. You have Third Strike Street Fighter 3 and Hyper Street Fighter 2 The Anniversary Edition, which is a blend of all five Street Fighter games, Street Fighter 2 games in one. And you also have the full-length feature film, Street Fighter 2 The Animated Movie. It's not full-length because there's some parts that are edited out. I should know because I've seen those edited, those parts that were taken out. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. It's actually kind of stupid. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, next we have... Uh, Fatal Fury Battle Archives Volume 2. This compilation has three games. I was going to say four. Uh, yeah, this has uh, three games in total. The last three um, Fatal Fury games, apparently, but Garo Mark of the Wolves, I guess, doesn't count as a Fatal Fury game, I guess. So, oh well. Next is Fatal Fury Battle Archives Volume 1. I had volume... I had both of these games, but... My dumb teenage self decided to sell them like a jackass, and I kind of regretted doing that. But I have them again, so I'm happy. This this one has four games in total. This was the one that has four. So, glad I got that out of the way. Next is Street Fighter Alpha Anthology. This compilation has five games in total. You have Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold, Street Fighter Alpha 3, and a bonus game, Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix, released on consoles as Pocket Fighter. It's a very cutesy Street Fighter game, but it's, uh, believe it or not, it's actually very addicting. I, I kid you not, I've played that game a, a good amount of times. And last but not least, Art of Fighting Anthology. Now, Art of Fighting has been known in the arcades for being notoriously difficult. When I mean difficult, I am talking about the game alone, the game's AI single-handedly makes Shao Kahn, good man from Neo Geo Battle Coliseum, and, well, Gil, Omega Rugal from, from Capcom vs. SNK2, and Shinokuma look like chumps. It is that difficult. I don't know why they made it as difficult as that, but it's, it's hair-ripping anger inducing frustration and yeah if you don't want to break your TV or break your controller or your PlayStation 2 don't bother getting it I just have it for Art of Fighting 3 because I can actually beat that one <laughs> so those are all of the compilations that I own thank you for watching RPK um, thank you again for being an awesome reviewer and I look forward to seeing more of your videos alright guys I uh, will see you on the next one take care have a good night most importantly Stay safe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Alright guys, take care. Bye-bye.